Eastland County Today Live, brought to you by Love Oak Pharmacy. Introducing Love Oak Pharmacy's Pharmacy in a Box. We can fix your prescription mess. We offer all of these innovative services at no cost to you. Simplify your life. Your medication can be pre-sorted and organized into personalized pill packets. Each dose is labeled by day and time to make medication time simple. We'll help you pick up all of your monthly medication in one single visit to the pharmacy. This convenient refillable storage container is as easy as one, two, three. Easily take your medication with you wherever you go. Transferring your prescriptions is easy. Just give us a call and talk to one of our knowledgeable pharmacists. We will coordinate with your doctors and insurance and proactively manage your refills. We will notify you before your next delivery. Let Love Oak Pharmacy help you simplify your life. We look forward to your visit. All right, go ahead. Welcome to another Eastland County Today Live. Um, we're talking with Daryl Phillips from the First United Methodist Church in Eastland. Um, he's going to be telling us about some upcoming events along with an event that's happening this Friday. So, Daryl, what is going on this Friday? This Friday we're having our fall festival. And what that includes is we, we have a baked potato lunch and comes complete loaded with barbecue and um, a peach cobbler, $8 a plate, it's pretty cheap for lunch. And um, all the benefits go to, the, it goes to benefit the Meals on Wheels and the Eastland County Food Pantry. Awesome. So what time is all this kicking off? The meal starts at 11 from 11 to 2. And we have we have uh, delivery from 11:30 to 12:30, and but at nine o'clock we open up for a bake sale, and Methodists can bake. They do a great job baking. So look at me, I was skinny before I came to Methodist. Uh, <laughs> they they can do they do a great job baking. They're also going to have casseroles. Uh, casseroles are going to be uh, spaghetti with meat sauce. Uh, the, these are frozen, ready to cook, put the thaw out and put in your oven. Um, uh, King Ranch casserole green bean casserole and uh, broccoli and rice. Uh, also we'll have a craft sale at 9 o'clock. And so it's going to be a great great things going on and, and be an exciting time for the, for the church and for the community. Awesome. Now when you say craft sale, like what kind of crafts are you going to have there? They have all kinds of things that people are, have, have made at home. Uh, we have, I know one, one individual is making some wooden crosses that are just absolutely gorgeous. They're made out of uh, reclaimed wood. And and they're they they have they're carved out and have flowers inside the cross that's been carved out and cut out and they're absolutely gorgeous. That's amazing. It kind of yes. reminds me of uh, this guy uh, Rooster Cogburn that lived up in Arkansas years back and he sat there in little cedar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that kind of reminds me of that kind of thing. Well, actually, the cross is the some of the crosses that will be in there will be made out of cedar. Mm -hmm. Reclaimed cedar that he's gotten from the old cedar chest or something. So. And cedar smells so, so Yes, awesome. it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, so, who's all involved in like helping you out like with the event, how you got it all planned and all that? Kind of tell us a little bit about that. All of the ladies of the church have been really involved. They've gotten together at the church to make sure the casseroles are all made the same. They've, they've cooked them and, and put them together at the church. Um, uh, Sue Watkins, um, Janet Thomas, been involved with a lot of the advertising, some of the, some of the cooking there. Um, um, Mary Jo Smith is, has been involved in it, and Roberta Broussard, and, and just well, if I start, I'm naming them all, but I'm not, I can't name them all because everybody's involved. Uh, so many people are involved also in the crafting and and, and getting all that done, and, and we will have people running over the place, or running over each other at the place. I hope. <laughs> on Friday to get get deliveries done and get calls, we uh, taking taking orders and getting all that done and just the whole church has really become involved in it. So, so and they have been for years. So. so how long have you been doing this? You know, I don't know exactly. I would say close to probably five five years or more, probably five plus years. Mm -hmm. that, and they always give to the food pantry and the um, uh, Meals on Wheels. That's amazing. I mean, yes. The community, I guarantee you completely thanks you for yes. doing this. I mean, this is an awesome, it's an awesome outreach for folks that are in need. And That's right. Some people that might not get certain things throughout that time of year. Right. Um, anything else you have coming up this year? 
We don't have anything major that's coming up. You know, each night, each Wednesday night, we have our R and R, which is Reflect and Reconnect. We have a free meal there, mm -hmm. and praise and worship, and and great testimonies, and God really moving there. So, you know, so of course, our Sunday morning worship services are awesome. Uh, we do have a Christmas cantata coming up in December, but I can't tell you the date. Okay. And if you've never been to our Christmas cantatas, you need to come. We have a full orchestra, and it, they're amazing. David Bailey is our our music director, and he does a fantastic job with that. So, well, I remember last year David had me actually film that. That's right. Cantata, yeah. And it was amazing. And it was very, very, I, I, it was a very beautiful performance. Mm -hmm. was, I thought it was amazing. Yeah, they, do, they do a great job. Thank you for that. That's not a problem. I just really love music, you know, the community mm -hmm. really loves music. There's right. a lot of people around here that are musicians. So That's right. That's right. And our people are all local that they come down. The, the orchestra, we come, we have some that are local that we, we get for the orchestra, and then some come from from Abilene, from the schools, and and all. But I'm telling you, they are absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's some beautiful music. I know that. Um, so I guess that's all you pretty much have for us this week. Um, yes, sir. If you have anything else, obviously let us know. Okay, we sure and will. We do. thank you so much for doing this, and, and we thank you very much for coming on the show. All right. Um, that's it for this Eastland County Today Live. You guys stay tuned. We'll end up having more coming at you. Also, if you guys would like to participate on Eastland County Today Live, you guys can give us a call here at the office or you can shoot us an email. And that's it we have for now. We'll catch you around.